It's going down. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Lotsoha, Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, which is truth and sincerity, while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham. Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Russia and China ditch Western currencies, switch to rubles and yuan in trade. So I'm going to read this article and Lord's will continue from there. Okay, it ain't much to read, but which I like news articles that are generally short because it gets right to the point. Western currencies have almost been completely phased out in Russia, China trade as nearly all payments between the countries are now carried out in rubles and yuan with uh, rubles being the currency of Russia and yuan being the currency of China. According to Russia Prime Minister Mikhali uh, uh, Miss Houston. So what I did was was um I went to Google, right? And I went to the search bar and I typed in what happens when countries ditch the dollar. And this is the response I got. If the world stops using the dollar as its reserve currency, it could have a significant impact on the U.S. stock market. Okay. So, what is the U.S. stock market? You know, we're going to look into that. A shift away from the dollar could lead to a decline in demand for U.S. financial assets, including stocks. You know, which could lead to devaluation of the dollar you know with people not you know buying u.s stocks you know this could lead to the dollar losing its value and ultimately crashing this could result in a decrease in stock prices and potentially lead to a bear market so just real quick I'm come back here let me see let me see. Let's see, what is the U.S. stock market? Okay. Okay. The stock market or exchange maintains various market level and sector specific indicators like the S&P, Standard & Poor's, 500 Index, and NASDAQ 100 Index which provide a measure to track the movement of the overall market. Okay, so. This is going into the U.S. stock market. Okay, so how the stock market works. Stock markets provide a secure and regulated environment where market participants can transact in shares and other eligible financial instruments with confidence with zero to low operational risks. Operating under the defined rule as stated by the regulator, the stock markets act as primary markets and secondary markets. As a primary market, the stock market allows companies to issue and sell their shares to the public for the first time through the process of initial public offering, IPO. This activity helps companies raise necessary capital from investors. So you see, companies and corporations will be impacted by this if, um, if companies started to get away from the dollar. You see, 
So you can also see a rise in prices on the shelves in your stores, your department stores, your corner stores, your retail stores, you name it. A company divides itself into several shares and sells some of those shares to the public at a price per share. Okay. To facilitate this process, a company needs a marketplace where the shares can be sold. And this is achieved by stock market. A listed company may also offer new additional shares through other offerings at a large at a later state, such as through right issues or follow on offerings. They may even buy back the D list their or D list their shares. OK. So let's see, what are the functions of the stock market? Let's see. So let's see, the stock market guarantees all interested market participants have access to data for all buy and sell orders, therefore, therefore helping in the fair and transparent price and securities. The market also ensures efficient matching of appropriate buy and sell orders. Okay, so let's come back here, right? What is the you in? Let's type in uh, in simple terms. Okay, an easy way to think about the stock market is to consider it as a network of stock exchanges where traders and investors buy and sell shares of publicly traded companies. Private companies list shares of their stocks on exchange through process called initial. Okay, so let's go back here. I don't want to spend too much time, you know. So if countries ditch the dollar, it will have a huge impact on the U.S. stock market, which in turn will affect the various different companies here in the United States of America. So you can better understand and this could impact the U.S. economy as well as the U.S. financial market. Sorry, excuse me. That's got to uh, blow my nose here. About that time of the year again. Okay, so, you know, let's look down here. What happens if the U.S. dollar stops, be, stops being the world currency, right? That said, if the dollar gradually loses its place atop the world financial pyramid, what would happen for the U.S.? It would likely mean less access to capital, higher borrowing costs and lower stock market values among other effects. Okay, so obviously the stock market gets impacted, which could impact these various companies and corporations here in the US. So it says, during a gathering on Tuesday with Chinese Premier Li Kuang, the Russian prime minister, took opportunity to convey his message as part of a two-day visit to Beijing for the regular meeting between the leaders of both nations. The proportion of national currencies and bilateral settlements has been steadily rising in 2020. It was around 20%, but this year we have successfully eliminated the use of third country currencies in these transactions, according to Ms. Huston. 
He also mentioned strengthening business relations, recalling that a joint business forum held in Shanghai in uh, May attracted more than 1,500 entrepreneurs from both countries. The prime minister highlighted the government's efforts to foster a favorable business environment for companies operating in Russia and China. He noted that there is a wide range of collaborative initiatives underway to support the growth and success of commercial enterprises in both countries. In turn, Li Kuang noted that cooperation between Moscow and Beijing continues to strengthen and is becoming increasingly important against the backdrop of global turbulence. Russia and its trade partners have started to switch to alternative currencies in mutual trade after sanctions effectively cut Moscow off from the financial system. A growing number of nations are turning to national currency settlements and trade. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for this article, you know, which, you know, will ultimately You know, we know that eventually, or inevitably, may I say, these world currencies will will be um, crashed, and, and the crashing of these currencies will lead to the implementation of this the CHIP, which is the mark of the you know what, the MOTB, the Karagma. Okay. Excuse me. So what I'd like to do here is let's go to blueletterbible.org. Okay. And let's go to Ezekiel. And I believe it's chapter 7, verse 19. Okay. Ezekiel chapter chapter 7, verse 19. They shall cast their silver in the streets. Now, a good example of this is in that movie, I Am Legend. In the movie, I Am Legend, there was a scene where when Will Smith was walking through the streets, what did he see lying all over the ground of the streets of the city? He saw millions upon millions of dollars just sitting there, which indicated that that people who had dollars on them threw their money out into the streets because it was worthless it had no value okay because at that point those dollars were worth mere pennies so when, when countries ditch the dollar right the dollar loses its its buying power that means it also loses its value so then, like for an example, instead of a dollar and 79 cents to buy a loaf of bread, you would need 20 singles just to buy a loaf of bread. So, yeah, when they say that your dollar will be worth mere pennies, it literally means just that. You know, a single dollar bill, for an example, might be worth 25 pennies, which is a quarter, right? That means you would need $4 just to buy a piece of candy. And that's just a small piece of candy. Like, you know, like for from the bubblegum machine, you know how it, it would normally take like um, 25 cents just to get a piece of bubblegum out of the bubblegum machine? Well, think of it this way. You would need $4 in order to get a piece of bubblegum out of the machine. So, yeah. We're getting ready to come into a time where the dollar will be worthless. It will have no value and it's going to lead to people ditching the dollar and, and um, going for virtual currencies like Bitcoin. And there, there's many 
you know, Bitcoin is Bitcoin is just one of many different virtual currencies. Okay. You know, there's many different virtual currencies out there. You know, that people is actually using to buy and, and sell. You know, but little do they know the um Uh, one of those virtual currencies will be tied to the RFID chip, which will allow you to make purchases online or, or physically. So this is what the so-called elites want. You know, they're steadily devaluating the dollar to crash it so they can bring in that, that karagma the Haragma, the MOTB. So it says, they shall cast their silver in the streets. Your modern day silver and gold is this is this dollar. Now we know that real money is gold and silver. Okay, thus is where you get the word Muni from, Muni. Okay, Muni, you know, where silver is supposed to represent the moon. And you know, you got Ni, right? Ni, sunny, sunny, Muni, sunny. You know, gold is supposed to represent the sun. So real, real, real money is gold and silver, okay? But money, money is a medium that is used, you no, know, money is a medium that is used to make exchanges in order to buy goods or services. And the, the, the modern day medium that you use to buy and sell or to buy services is the dollar, okay? It says their goat shall be removed. Now, this actually happened when the conquistadors and the Spaniards came over here, okay? When, when they attacked Gad and, and the other native tribes of this land, what happened? They took their gold and silver, not just from their homes, but from these different rivers, these different lakes, these different streams, and basically left our people with nothing, Okay. It says, their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord, right? But the spiritual money, which is what? The, uh, the word. Okay. The, this, this knowledge, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, that's the spiritual, that, that's the spiritual money, okay? And, and whenever you do your videos, Whenever you you fast, you pray, you're going out on the highways and hedges, you're doing what the Lord said to do to the best of your ability. You know, what you're doing is you're building up your spiritual bridges in heaven. If you're of the elect, you know, your your faith and your works is what's gonna is is what's gonna earn you salvation, okay? But this physical money, physical money is not gonna save you. Neither is it gonna go with you on a chariot if you're of the elect, okay? Everything that's here on this planet is going to be left behind when you get beamed up in a, into a chariot. It says, they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. So the time is coming where people is going to toss this money into the streets because it ain't worth shit. Okay. So um, hopefully you were edified. But that I'm going to say, Charlotte Wong is on to the next.